in this year of mercy, Pope Francis has invited every man of goodwill to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. Many efforts are being made by the faithful to participate in this invitation of the Pope. Glorious ashram being situated at the peripheries of Warda makes an effort to enable the people to know more about God's infinite mercy. And Clarice and Ashram also proudly invite you to join us in a biblical journey of mercy. And in this journey, we have 10 biblical events to help the pilgrims of mercy to experience God's mercy. And now, this is the entrance, the pelican bird. The pelican bird is thought to be very attentive to her young ones to the point of providing her own blood by wounding her own breast when no other food is available. In the Christian tradition, the pelican bird symbolizes the shedding of Jesus' blood on the cross as the ultimate expression of God's mercy to the entire creation. And now we move to the first station, the creation. This is the creation. The creation is the beginning of God's infinite mercy to the entire creation. And now we are coming to the next station. The second station, the Egyptian slavery. When the people of Israel forgot to participate in the divine mercy, they became slaves in Egypt. And now we are coming to the third station, that is the call of Moses. Here this is the call of Moses. God, being merciful, was not able to resist His mercy from His chosen people. By seeing their tears, God calls Moses to liberate them. Thus, He renews His mercy to the people. And now, this is the Jordan River. It was at the banks of River Jordan that John the Baptist preached a baptism of repentance. Thus, being the forerunner of Messiah, he invited the people of Israel to experience God's mercy. And the next station, the caves. This is the caves. It is the place where the shepherds used to stay in the night. They are the representatives of the people at the periphery. <clears throat> and now we are coming to the crib. This is the crib. It is here the mercy of God became flesh and dwelt among us. It is the greatest manifestation of God's mercy to us. And now, the next station is the Acts of Mercy. And this is the acts of mercy. Jesus, being the incarnation of divine mercy, spread the message of mercy by preaching, healing, teaching, and by performing miracles.
And now here we see the Eucharist and the Crucifix. The Eucharist is the perfect example of God's mercy to all of us. It is the divine bread that energizes us to be merciful. <clears throat> and next station, now we shall move to the Santa Claus. And this is the Santa Claus. Here is the Santa Claus, which is the colorful attractive of Christmas. And now we have come to the last station, the Year of Mercy logo. This logo invites each one of us to be merciful in our day-to-day -day life. Like Jesus, we need to mercifully carry the burden of others on our shoulders. So dear friends, this clip was an attempt of the inmates of the Claration Ashram to enable everyone to journey with the mercy of God in the Bible. This journey has just begun and now this is the responsibility of everyone to continue this journey. Thank you.